Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna tackle Draw Sprite for your draw event. And which one I am referring to? Well, all of them. As you can see, if you just type in Draw Sprite, you're having quite a few options. So if you're just curious what they actually all mean, stay tuned. This is one up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and if you can, press that bell icon so you get informed for new videos. So let's get right into the good stuff. So I am having a quite easy setup, basically I am drawing on this object here um, the same guy, this is the SPR boss idol and then I will draw him once on the right side and then the kind of changed version on the left side so I can show what actually all those draw events do and so you understand a few things, a few quirks about the draw events for example here I have it uh, well aligned to the bottom center so it's just this is the reference point for X and Y and this is getting overrided by a few draw events so just keep that in mind so I put, put him in here and let's start with the easiest version. So let's go for draw sprite extent. And that is quite easy to understand because there's not much to it. Here you have, let's say for example, you're starting with a completely basic draw sprite. So you're just drawing the sprite you want to draw, then the sub image, and then the actual position. And that's basically it. And here you just have a few more options which is the X scale and the Y scale. So what is that? Basically for example if you go in here you have it the X scale and the Y scale is the scaling percentage wise on the image. So basically this is one and this is one. But for example if you put in a bigger value let's say for the Y scale which is the, um, the, the X scale which is the horizontal scale if you make it bigger then that will happen. So just keep that in mind. If you have a rotation, well, that will happen. And if you have a color, well, you get a, a tinting of the color, depending what kind of color you put in. And the alpha, well, that is something which does that. Um, let's delete that effect. And we go like this. As you can see, that's the alpha channel. So basically, how transparent or how fully it's being drawn. So quite easy to understand, nothing specific here. But then you're having draw sprite part. And that is kind of interesting because here it is basically taking a few different values. And this is just used, well, in just very specific cases. So here you can start again with your sprite, then the sub image, but then you have left and top. And then you're just wondering, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, the point is here, this um, bottom thingy image uh, alignment is kind of ignored. So for example, once I run this code, you will see something which is kind of specific. So let's load it. And what you're seeing here, that looks kind of strange. This is just a piece. Why? Well, because it's just drawing a piece. So this is basically what it is. It's just cutting out a path. First of all, um, it is starting with a top left corner. So here you have, let's go for part. So here's the top left corner. And then if you give a bigger value than zero, here we go to the right. And then the top value, if you give a value, he will go downward. So for example, what you're doing, you're just basically cutting that part already out, because then it's gone. Then you're starting at that point. And then the width and the height is the well, the value you put additionally. Let's say for example, you've been like 10 plus 10. Then here you can just count it. Then there will be a value plus 10, which is being cut out and then for example, you just show, I don't know, that rectangle. And then in the end, you will give just and get a part 
on oh well of your sprite so this is how you can cut out parts of your sprite if you like so for example here i just went 10 pixels to the right 10 pixels downward on well this uh, flying spaghetti monster thingy here so i just went 10 right and down and then that part already was gone and then i just said all right uh, 15 pixels to the right and fix it 15 pixels to uh, downwards draw that little rectangle then you just saw well quite small thing and because that thing is quite huge you just see a smaller one let's say we uh, i don't know cost 35 and here 40 and we run it again then we cut out a bigger part let's see yeah that should work as you can see it just goes down right down and then it's just cutting out a part so this is how you can for example partially uh, take a thing out and then we have draw sprite general which is in my opinion kind of the same it's you can cut out again because you have top left width and height but here you can actually even manipulate a few things more the x and y scale the rotation and even some color so for example what you can do this is kind of funny because this is actually i guess the only one of those sprite um, function to which allows you to overlay more than one color what do i mean by that well if you have one color generally you can just tint it with, with one color and that is basically it for example it appears more greenish reddish and whatever but here with that sprite general function you can actually draw and make a monstrosity here as you can see he's not just even being cut out he is being overlaid with the red color here blue one here i guess it was green that's why you don't really see it and then here i guess yellow so just keep that in mind how you can i don't know color overlay a thing differently so this is just one option for example if you want to run some colors but generally i would prefer or just advise you to do that i don't know if you want to do some color overlaying with um well with some blending modes or if you're really advanced with some shaders and the next one which is kind of interesting is draw sprite position what does this one do well now you're having four positions x1 x2 and y1 y2 and so on and so on now you're having four positions so basically let's take the cutting out back again what you're having here and let's make a new layer so you understand what i'm actually telling about you're having four points which is the first point second point third and the fourth and so you have x one and y one and here you have x two and y u and so you basically have four coordinates and then you can do something like that you can basically take those points and skew your whole image and then i don't know you can just play around sometimes it's a pretty cool effect if you do something like that as you can see you can pretty much mess up the whole thing so let's start it because I already prepared something that doesn't look too good but well why not so you basically just have those four positions and then you can skew it and here i have it so basically that's the thing the sprite the sub image and alpha but here four positions to change so as you can see this looks kind of hideous it's kind of difficult to well distinguish how you can well put it out but this is what you can actually do with it and when we go back to the code well i just uh, have like my origin position of x and y and then i just add some values so i can skew it so let's uh, mark that one out here we have one which is kind of curious it is called tiled and there you have tiled and tiled extent and to be honest i just show you so you understand actually what that does not sure what the general application for that is as you can do that actually with a background so what do i mean by that well maybe you have seen that and done that 
that you can repeat a tile. So what, what this thing is doing, it's creating kind of a tile thing and repeating it on the X and Y value. And well, now you have lots of mushrooms. So if you want to have lots of mushrooms and stuff which is repeated, here you go. So this is just the way how to do that. And well, you have an extended version with it. Then you just have a color overlay and an image X scale additionally to play around so i don't know this is a thing you can do i don't know if you have like really any application for that maybe you have but for now none is coming to my mind and here the last one which is called stretched so basically it is similar to the draw regular one which we are having on the top here extend where you have x and y scale but here you have sprite you have width and you have height. What do I mean by that? For example, if you go in here, maybe there's even a picture shown here. Yeah, doesn't really tell you anything. You have a width, a, a W and an H. So basically what do I have here? Well, you're doing something like this. You can stretch, but then you say, what is that good for? I already have image X scale and image Y scale. What's the difference here? Well, image X scale is a, is a percentage value and for example, if you do it with the draw stretch, then is it, it's a pixel value. So basically, if you're just saying, I want this to be drawn, I don't know, 80 pixels, then this should be 80 pixels. So this is another way how you can well draw your sprite, but not on a relative value, but on a pixel based value. So if you're having use for that, this is how you can do it. Well, and that was basically it. No magic here. Hopefully that was of interest to you, so you can now play around with that stuff in your game. Have a good one. One up in.